driving off. She's driven off. It's fine. Still a party, guys. <laughs> So embrace the good and forget the bad. Look at life and all you have. It's health, not wealth. Presence, not presence. Love in the good times and the bad. So as you start this journey here today, remember these faces along the way. There'll be times that test and times when you're not at your best. Tears will flow and crosswords will definitely blow. And one day, maybe, the patter of tiny feet, cries, night feeds, no sleep. Together, stronger, a fantastic team, Rick and Kate living the dream. To the future, you now must look. Remember, there is no book. Carve your own path, make your own look. The journey is long, continue to dance to your song. Your success depends on each other. So as you leave here today as man and wife, remember, embrace the good and forget the bad. Kate and I first met at 11 p.m. on the 28th of May, 1987. <laughs> Apart from being a little blue in the face, which a pig lamp, a pig lamp quickly sorted out, she was all Bernie and I could have wished for, apart from a boy, perhaps. <laughs> A couple of years ago, Richard went on his first Parker family outing. He went to see Mark Knopfler of Later Dire Straits at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. At the interval, I needed the toilet. Richard was dispatched wisely by Kate to be my wingman in case I got lost. As we turned to wash our hands afterwards, I said to him how much it infuriated me when men at the shaking off the last drop point took a step back as if the room wasn't sufficient for them. Without breaking stride, Richard turned to me and said, I promise next time I won't stand next to you. <laughs> now, I know that a case like this, you can't have everyone you want. Um, at your special day, and I know that myself and Ed today um, shared a really nice moment by the weather, where it's called it off 15 minutes short, uh, when we had a whiskey with our dad, just kind of <laughs> wishing he was here tonight. <laughs> I know that he would have been impressive, uh, immensely proud of myself. Sarah, Hannah, Ed, and more than any of us, proud of, proud of my mum. <laughs> Stood at the front of the, the altar today, I could not have put what I felt into words. I couldn't have put it in the speech, I couldn't have told Ed, and I couldn't have cried out anymore. Emotions left my body more than I was expecting, because I wasn't expecting to cry, because I'm a real man. <laughs> um, but I cried, and I'm not, I, you know, I'm a real man, I'm going to say I did cry. But I never could put, uh, put my emotions down in words, and when I saw Kate, I was blown away. I really was. And even though it was the second to last pew, I could turn around and I would just blubbered. I couldn't help it. So I call upon the idiot persons here present. To witness that I, Richard Alexander Stevens. To witness that I, Richard Alexander Stevens. Do take thee, Catherine Ann Parker. Do take thee, Catherine Ann Parker. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Catherine, receive this ring. Catherine, receive this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. This is going to be the struggle. Let's see what I think we're on. We're on. We're on. It is just a massive thank you from myself and my new wife, Catherine. 
From people that travel from America, from Australia, from Bookshop Village. <laughs> Seven pounds thirteen ounces enters Richard Alexander Stevens. Now it's, that almost sounds like the um, the beginning to a boxing match, and it's quite apt, really, because Sarah did spend most of their early years beating Richard up. <laughs> now, Richard, I've, I got you a little something. In fact, I didn't get it because I'm that tight. I made it for you. But I got you a little T-shirt just in case the queue at the bar tonight is a little bit long. <laughs> We were at Charles and Bernadette's one night for um, one of Bernadette's soirees and I got talking to Charles and he was telling me this story about how Rick had asked if he could borrow um, Charles' chainsaw. And Charles said, Charles said he wouldn't have let him loose with a pair of uh, children's scissors, let alone his chainsaw. <laughs> Now, Charles, that, that, got the, that, that, that got the old grey matter ticking there because it must be an incredible chainsaw given that you're letting him loose on your daughter. <laughs> I love the way that you're sarcastic with everything. And I love the way that you compromise, like how I wanted the kitchen to be blue. And you wanted it to be green, so we compromised and we got it green. <laughs> But I also love how kind you are with your time, how loving you are towards people you care about, and how thoughtful you are when it comes to special occasions. I love that you overthink the small things to, th to make sure that you haven't missed anything. I love that you're the first person when people need it. You are generous beyond measure, and you're the finest, loveliest, tenderest, and most beautiful person I've ever met. And that <laughs> is an understatement. You have so many amazing qualities. <laughs> there. And I can honestly say, I'm pushing well above my weight. <laughs> and as I've been told too many times to remember, and I think that for a bold 45 year looking 30 year old, <laughs> I'm doing pretty well. I can't wait to start this next chapter of our lives together to continue our story. Life is a story and we've had so many chapters so far. I'm sure it won't be easy, I'm sure we'll fight. We'll bicker and you'll shout at me. And I'll say, yes dear, you're right. <laughs> Even though I'm right. But who doesn't? We'll make our way through and we'll come, uns come out unscathed. I can't wait to wine and dine, dance and drink. I can't wait to visit beautiful places, both close, and ho close to home and far away. I can't wait to make lots of great memories. I can't wait to buy our first house together. I can't wait to have dog. I can't wait to start our own family. And I can't wait to do it all with you. I truly am a lucky man. And I know that it's cliche to say, but when everyone tells me I'm punching, I really am. Oh.